Friends, it is Thursday, September 26, 2024. We learned in the last couple of days that Mo- Moses had to pass on his characters to lay his hand on Joshua, who was going to follow in his replacement, his understudy, apprenticeship model for leadership, and he had to pass on both his courage and his humility. Uh, how did he do that? How did he have those characteristics, both courage and humility? Well, we hear now in... Uh, in Exodus 34:29, the key to this. Moses came down from Mount Sinai, verses 29 and 30. He came down from the mountain with the two tablets of the covenant in his hand, the Ten Commandments. Greatest single summary of the, our religious and our social obligations that's ever been or could ever be written any time in history. Have you got a better summary? I'd love to hear it. And he's got this incredible teaching. And But listen to this. He didn't realize that the skin of his face was shining. He had been talking with God. When the Israelites and Aaron saw it, the skin of his face was shining. They were afraid to come near him. He was glowing with the power of God. What a moment. What a moment. His, his humility and his courage came from directly out of his spirituality. You see, he was courageous because he knew that God was fighting his battles alongside him. Because the creator of the heavens was with him, had called him, was empowering him. He could say with the psalmist in Psalm 8, you know, why why am I important? I mean, what is a human being that you even think of us? You created the stars in their courses. I mean, wow. And yet you've made us a little less of the angels. You've given us a job of dominion here in the earth. You've asked us to be leaders. He could say that with the same assurance the psalmist had, Moses had. This, this amazing God is beside me. But at the same time, uh, his humility came from this, this same source. Um, it's interesting. The experience of God's awesomeness humbles us in our hearts at the same time. He, he, is, he is the only one who can, who can give us the strength that we need to do the things that, he, that God has called us to do. That's why when Moses was passing the torch to Joshua, he said, and with everyone in Israel listening on, be strong and be bold. He gave him a commission. You are the one who will go with his people into this land that the Lord has swan, sworn to our ancestors. You're going to be the leader to put them in possession of it. And never fear because the Lord goes before you. He will not fail you. He will not forsake you. Don't ever be feared or dismayed. This is Moses literally putting his hand on this successor Joshua and passing on his courage and his humility. Let's pray. Lord, we want to have some of the courage and humility that comes. We want to be touched by your divine spirit so we glow with your glory. May our leading always be based on the, uh, the trust we have in you and our ability to follow the one unique, holy, awesome God. Amen.